All right, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? What's happening? Happy Friday. Happy Financial Freedom Friday, as my wife says. Happy Fabulous Friday, all that good stuff. Welcome to the Blank Spot Academy. My name is Eric, and I'm going to be conducting some research this morning. So do me a favor, guys, as you jump on, drop your city and state, like, share, and tag. If you're not a part of our social media, if you're not following us, if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed or if you're not following our Facebook page, we have a business page, Facebook page. It's the blank spot. Um, guys, if you're not following us on Instagram, everything is the blank spot except for our TikTok. It's the blank spot under, underscore sub blanks. So as you guys jump on, do me a favor, drop your city and state. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Like, share, and tag, guys. We are a sublimation blanks and supply store. We're located at 224 O'Neill Court, Suite 26 and 27 in Columbia, South Carolina, 29223. If you're from that area, please stop by and check us out. You'll see what's going on. If nothing else you can say, you stop by to check us out. Um, we've been in business. Uh, we've been in this business for about a um, little over a year. We've been in business a little bit over a year. My wife's been doing crafting, some type of crafting since uh, I want to say 2000. She, st she really started playing with it around 2013 and she got serious about 2017. I can remember, I can remember when we were in, uh, when I was in the military, it's funny. I can remember we were going on a family vacation and she made some shirts out of some, uh, some print and cut type stuff that we were making shirts and we were ironing it on. And uh, who, who would have ever known that that would have planted the seed for us to be in the business doing what we're doing today in a retail store. Um, but moving forward, um, we're here to show you and share with you one of our products and how it compares to one of what is being said to be the best number one brand of sublimation paper in North America. So we're going to we're going to compare our paper to that paper and see how it stands up. The best the number one paper in North America. I don't know if it's the number one brand of selling. I don't know if it's the number one brand of selling uh, or the number one brand in being, you know, being used or the number one brand in quality. But I'm going to share with you our paper because my wife, she's done about a year and a half research on our paper. She started off with this paper that I'm going to talk about. OK, paper that I'm going to talk about. She started off with it. Um, as probably a lot of crafters and creators and designers are starting off with this paper because it's so well known. Um, it's so well known. What we do is we get out there, we do some research. We say, OK, who's using what and who's doing this and that? And we start off and the paper is uh, the paper is a, a low cost. So it's affordable. It's an affordable paper, but uh, it's cost effective. However, is it comparing and standing up to today's papers and all of these people who are coming out with their papers is it standing up to their quality? OK. So if you don't understand what sublimation is, if you're just getting into it, sublimation is basically a heat a transfer using dye, sublimation dye ink. You need to have sublimation paper to have the best results, and you need to have a printer that can print sublimation. Um, some people are using specific sublimation printers. I know Epson uh, specifically makes a sublimation printer. Sawgrass makes a sublimation printer, and all Epson printers can be used for sublimation because the whole process of the sublimation is to activate uh, when the heat activates, when the heat activates, it is, uh, it is, uh, it is transferred. Okay. But I got Tiffany Andrews on the line. She said, best paper around. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. She's talking about the blank spot sublimation paper. So we have our paper and our paper has, is being marketed in a couple of different areas. As a matter of fact, we probably serviced every, state in the country to include Puerto Rico since we've been in business over the last 15 months. Okay. So I'm happy and proud of that. Proud of my wife doing her research and uh, knocking that out. She's checked a lot of vendors out. And it's really, when you're thinking about, when you're thinking about uh, doing a sublimation, um, when you're thinking about doing sublimation, you got to ask yourself, if I'm going to do it as a business, how, um, how, vibrant do I want my paper to be? How vibrant do I want my products to be? Um, so that's something to think about. Let me see. 
make stuff underscore Lisa asks, do you send samples of your paper and blanks? Yeah. No, I do not. Um, we used to send samples of our paper, um, but we had customers that were getting greedy and we had it to where people can actually order the paper online. And we were only giving away two sheets. We were covering the shipping cost. We were covering the shipping cost, but people were starting to get greedy and they started to order um, five, 10, 20, even a hundred uh, counts of that paper. And it began to get a, a little frustrating. So we stopped doing that, but we do give a sample out with every purchase. Okay. We give a sample, well, not excuse me, every new customer, with every new customer, you're going to get a sample of our paper, two sheet sample of our paper. We also have our paper broken down into economy packs, into economy packs. So our paper regularly comes in 100 sheets. However, we've broken it down into 20 sheets. Our sizes range from eight and a half uh, by 11, eight and a half by 14, eight and a half, uh, 11 by 17, and 13 by 19. But we also have rolls available as well. We have 13 by 19 inch rolls and we have 24 inch rolls available. Um, so if you would like to, if you like to sample our paper, you don't want to spend a lot of money, you can get 20 sheets of our paper for six dollars. OK, plus plus ship. Um, and I think a lot of we we were at one time we were probably and I don't want to say what other people are doing, but we were pretty much uh, the only people in our area that were giving out samples and not requesting or requiring that customers bought anything. But if you are a new customer and you shop with us, you're going to get a sample of our paper. So unfortunately, um, some things happened and, you know, we had to stop doing that. But also the economy right now, you got to think about it, the economy and inflation and, 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 and um, the, 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 the idea of the way things are going, it doesn't allow us to actually send samples. Now, we do have a sublimation kit, a starter kit. If you like to purchase that, it's $20. It's $19.99. So, yes, shipping is expensive. It is expensive. Um but we we uh we we try to make it a, we try to make it worth our customers while. So we do have a sublimation kit for people if you want to actually try our if you actually want to try our um our items out. We have five substrates in that kit. I believe it's a bag, um it's a keychain, it's a um a bookmark, a coaster and um uh, a koozie, okay? So you get five things in there and you also get um, you get the the paper, the the uh, the um, the designs are already cut out and printed, okay, with instructions. So let's get on with this with this uh, <laughs> with this this um, this this science project or right? science experiment. So I'm excited, okay. So um, so what we're going to be using, and once again, we do have a we have an online presence. So if you guys are interested in wondering or wondering what our website is if you scroll back to the original on TikTok, if you scroll back to the original you'll see the blank spot.com also if you're on facebook or youtube you can actually go to any of our profiles and you can see what our website is what i have on my on my shoulder is a 100 percent polyester shirt 100 percent polyester shirt now i'm going to show you the brand of the shirt the brand name of the shirt is jersey okay and since I got to keep remembering to mirror my screen, I apologize. I'm going to show you here. The name of the shirt is Jersey. OK, and Jersey is. This is a 21 MR. OK, not sure if you guys will be able to see this. This is a 21 MR, a 100 percent polyester shirt. 100 percent polyester shirt. OK, that's what I'm going to be using today. And what I've done. You said well, you, you can't see it. It's paused. OK. Is it still paused? It's back. OK, cool. It could be a delay. Um, I, I am in the country, so I apologize. Let me see. I bought a key change from the bank spot. Highly recommend it. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Okay, so this is a small shirt. Okay, it is 100% polyester. So I'm going to be using this on our controlled, uh, our controlled science project experiment. Okay, so what I did was, <clears throat> and here's something that you need to know: when you're just getting started in business, when you're just getting started in business, what happens is 
um, it's very expensive starting out, especially as crafters. So you're going to put your money where you think it needs to go. Well, for us, when we started this retail business, we decided not to get a watermark on the back of our paper. OK, so our paper does not have a watermark. However, the test paper that I'm using, which is a sub, a sub paper is who I'm comparing our paper to a sub. If you haven't heard of a sub, now you have. I went on the website yesterday. I looked at it and I was saying, man, what makes a sub paper so great? My wife used it, like I said, when she first got started and she was doing sublimation. And she said, hey, you know what? Let me try another paper. Who else? Who else paper did you try? Uh, I think I tried. Shakira's, mm -hmm. was it Shakira's paper? I tried, honestly, honestly speaking, HS Inc. She yeah. tried HS Inc.'s paper, uh -huh. honestly speaking. And I, we're not really afraid. Good. To, really yeah, good. We're not afraid to share yeah. other people's brands that we tried. She had really good paper. You wanna, like, I want something like yeah. this. If you want to <laughs> if you want to go and check her out, honestly speaking, speaking, uh, honestly speaking, she has a YouTube page as well. Mm -hmm. She has a uh, she has a paper line and an ink line as well. Uh, we have paper and ink as well. Uh, but we tried her next. OK, because she said she wanted something. My wife wanted something that was going to have an ink release like that. Now, I know I'm probably you probably think I'm doing a lot of talking, but I want to lay a foundation. As I was talking to uh, talking to my wife and talking to our, our resident expert, we were talking about. So why is it important to understand what sublimation is and why is it important to understand what the ink release is? Mm -hmm. Right. So why is it important to understand as a crafter new to sublimation? why you need a great ink release well because the process of sublimation is heating the ink up and transferring it to the substrate okay Vanetta said the quality absolutely now you can use a lower grade or lower quality pro pro uh, product but you're going to get lower grade and lower quality results now, I'm happy for everybody who is using A-Sub's paper. This is not to bash A-Sub in any way. I got to put that out there. I don't want anybody going back to A-Sub or somebody sharing this with their company and saying, hey, I'm bashing their, comp bashing their company. I'm not. I'm simply doing a comparison between their paper. That's the watermark. This is our paper with no watermark. That's the watermark. Where is it at? See the watermark. And this is our paper. We don't have a watermark. I'm going to do a comparison with their paper and our paper. What are we comparing? We're comparing the ink release. Also, also, I'm going to show you how you can tell if you got a good quality paper. So the first thing I did was I created our design. Our design um, for our academy, the blankspot.com. This is our Standard colors in our background. It's going to be very vibrant, I promise you. Um, and the first thing I noticed when I picked up the a -sub paper, because we still have a -sub paper in, in the house. When I picked up the paper, I noticed the heaviness, the weight of the paper. The paper is really, really heavy. So this is 125 GSM, okay? What is GSM? Well, let's go ahead and look it up, okay? Because I want to I want to get it correct. I don't want to mess it up, all right? I know it has something to do with grams, So, DSM paper, it stands for grams per square meter. Grams per square, per square meter. That's what GSM stands for. Why is that important? Because if your paper has a certain uh, texture to it, that depends on how your ink is going to adhere to it. So, this ASA paper that I have <clears throat> is 125 grams. This blank spot paper, the blank spot paper is 120 grams. I don't think that's going to make too much of a difference, D, because once you get to 120, you're doing great anyway. Yeah. Okay. Um, I did a little research. I want y'all to understand something, too. I am not a crafter, not by trade. I'm not a crafter. I've learned everything I've learned from my wife and doing YouTube research and listening to a lot of the crafters that are in our, in our group. And I listen a lot. And a lot of the stuff that some of the crafters say just don't make any sense. So that's why I wanted to come on here and I wanted to compare these papers live because when I did it before, I wasn't able to go live because we didn't have any presence online. So 
We got the ace up paper and we have the blank spot paper. So I got my 100% polyester t-shirt, okay? So guys, if you're just jumping on, whatever platform you're on, if you're just jumping on, I am comparing the blank spot sublimation paper to the North America's, the number one North America paper, all right? That's what the website says. North America's number one paper. Number one sublimation paper. paper. Sorry. Number one sublimation paper. So the first thing I'm going to do, and this is for everybody. I want to go ahead and run it run it to y'all. Hey, y'all. There goes the queen right there. Hey. So first thing I'm going to do is, as we always do, it doesn't matter what's going on, whether it's practice or not, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run this lint roll over my shirt, okay? Because I don't want any blue specs. So if you knew the craft or not that you're in, you in, you here? I'm just here for a minute. I'm she taking is a break. Right so I'm gonna run this. I'm gonna run this over because I don't wanna I don't wanna uh, have any blue specs. Alright? See what we got. Yes. Hey beauty rider. Hey Miss Ben. <laughs> Let's see. Somebody say yes, Asa paper is heavy. Yeah. It's a little heavy, yeah. Once again, you guys just jumping on. This is not bashing another nope. product or another brand. We're just doing a comparison. Got to do a comparison. Don't See, remember, tell on us, y'all. <laughs> yeah, remember, we're 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 a smaller business. And smaller businesses have to compete with bigger businesses. Yep. And this is the way that we're competing. Okay. So I'm gonna take this shirt. Let me slide to the side because I want y'all to be able to see this. Another thing, we gotta let them know what we're pressing it on. So we are pressing this on our signature heat press. The timer came on. That too. Oh, that too. Okay. <laughs> so you want me to do the three sixty five? That's what you did before. Yeah. Okay. So our paper, our paper activates at three hundred sixty five degrees. Okay. Um, normally you hear people saying three hundred eighty five to four hundred degrees for mm -hmm. sublimation, but we have some great paper, and our paper actually activates to transfer the heat at three hundred sixty five degrees. Yep. Uh, which is a great thing because every substrate that you have, you don't want to actually put it at 400 because you can't burn it. You can't burn it. Just depends on what type it is. If it's texture. a if it's a, a satin, yep. If it's a a, a a nylon, if it's yep. something light, then it yep. can actually burn. Yep. So you can back up off of that temperature with our mm -hmm. paper. Yep. Some papers you have to press it at 400, 385 to 400. Yeah. That heat is heavy. Yep. Okay, it's heavy. So once again, I got Ace up. And I have the blank spot. This is A sub. This is the blank spot. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take this paper. Once again, I'm going to be right side up. A sub is going to be on. Upside down. Okay, can y'all see this? So I'm putting A-sub on the left-hand side, okay? That's my A-sub paper. That's it right there. And I'm going to put the blank spot on the right-hand side, all right? Now, my shirt is upside down, so when I pick it up, when I pick it up, my blank spot is going to be on the left side of the screen. That's right. Yeah, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and press, and I'm pressing at 365 degrees. And I'm going to press it for 60 seconds. Actually, you know what? I'm not pressing it for 60 seconds. What you did it for? 60. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? I press it for 60 seconds. Because we want to have that control. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, y'all ready? So, what do I expect to get? I already know what I'm getting. I know what I'm gonna get. So Dang, first of all, um, you can. You could do 365. Now think about what that'll do if you got like a smaller area. You don't have as much heat in your room. Radiate. You know what I'm saying? So instead of doing the 400, you can go with 365. That way it'll it'll not be as much heat, um, you know, in your area. And you know what? I make stuff. We can do 30 seconds and still gonna have a vibrant a vibrant uh, effect. Yep. The reason why I'm doing 60 seconds is because there are some new people on here. Yeah. And I don't want to stray anybody wrong. If they use another paper or a different paper and they decide to do the same thing, they may not have the, the, the same outcome. Mm -hmm. So that's what I, you know, that's what I want to do. But you're absolutely right. 
depending on what paper you're using. Yep. There's lots of papers out there. Um, HS, HSC. Inc., uh, Crafting Your Besties. Is good. You can do the same um, thing. Yeah. Blanks Galore. She's got some paper out there. The Blank Spot has some paper. I don't know too many other people out there. Who else doing paper? Koala. It's a bunch of people doing Asa. paper now. Yeah, a lot of people doing, doing paper. Does Cosmo take your paper? Or just ink? No, he doesn't. He, he, does, he, he does uh, craft best. Okay, paper. the first thing I'm getting, this is in my hand. I want y'all to see this. This is the A sub, okay? This is the A sub. Mm -hmm. Can y'all see that? That's A sub. I'm holding that in my hand. And D is going to grab. You put a little bit of something on there? You can, I mean, but. So they can see which one? Oh, yes. That's fine. Yeah. Put okay, right show them the back of the paper. Yeah, I am. But we want to show the, the, the thing too. What I should have done was I should have put A sub on top of here. This is TBS? Yeah. All right. So this is the A sub paper. And this is our TBS, the blank spot paper. Now, the first thing I want to show you is all right, cool. You say you see the watermark. Make, make stuff. <laughs> say, okay, I still see some ink on there. You absolutely do. The one that has the ink on there, y'all can guess which one it is. The one that has no ink, y'all can guess which one this it is. This is pressed at 365 degrees for 60 seconds. At moderate pressure, okay? Wow is absolutely right. Now, why am I doing this experiment? I'm doing this experiment for several reasons. One, as a crafter, if you're going to be selling stuff to your customers, you want to you want to make sure your overhead is low, but you also want to give them some good quality products. You definitely do. Now, you can compare a sub paper to a lot of other papers, and I'm sure a lot of other people are going to have some of the same or similar results. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm saying this for for to make it to make it make sense. Just because it's a name brand, that don't mean it's the best. That don't mean it's the best. So now. I got it upside down. That's good. That's <laughs> so good. That's, I did that on purpose. And then you're gonna press it again. You're I'm gonna press, press it again. again to see. So the one that is A sub, which is here, is upside down. The one that's TBS is right side up. So the first thing I want you to see is, and I want to see if you can tell, because we could tell before, the vibrancy. Okay, one is still gonna be more vibrant than the other, but you're gonna know that. That's our TBS right there. You're going to know that because all that ink was left on there. Okay? Now, I'm going to do something else. Watch this. I'm going to press it again. Y'all probably think this guy crazy. He's going to press it again. Yeah. He is pressing it again, ladies and gentlemen. Well, why is he pressing it again? Because I think I can get some more ink off of that paper. I could probably get ink off of both of the papers. I could probably get ink off both of the papers. So before I press this, of course, what I'm going to do, because I don't want the transfer to get on my heat press, I'm going to take some butcher paper, because that ink is going to be activated again. And I'm going to cover that one up, okay? I'm going to take this ink. Let me see. The sub kind of faded. Yeah. The other one kind of faded. It is. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same thing and I'm going to press this sucker again. So what are you doing, Eric? Now remember, this may be the number one selling paper in North America, but is it the number one paper on the market? I beg the difference. I beg to differ. And it would seem to me that yeah. So we're just using the same one that we just pressed. Same paper that we just pressed. And we're going to press it again. It would seem to me that as a marketer, that some, as somebody who, who's marketing their products, that they would want to get the best product out to the customer. It would seem to me I'll press this up again because I want to see what's happening. I've always used hippo paper, but I would love to compare so I might grab a kit from you guys. And I appreciate it. You know, hippo paper might be some good paper. I haven't tried it. I haven't tried it. So it may be good. But we'd love, we'd love to have you come over and check us out. 
here's the thing, man. Y'all got to understand, and we have to all understand, if we're going to compete as smaller businesses, we have to do business with each other. We got to. Having us doing business with bigger businesses because of a name brand, because we think they're going to give us a guarantee or a better price or better service, doesn't always work. We as smaller businesses are out here grinding. We grind it every day trying to get our stuff out there. Like I said, this marketing, this is a marketing tactic. And this is to show everyone out here that not only is our paper quality better than the North America's number one paper, which a lot of other papers probably are. But the price wise, the price point is comparative as well. All right. Interesting. Interesting, y'all. Did you know that I was gonna happen? Hmm. Did you know that was gonna happen? That's the second press. You, you, you put the A in on it. That's good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's the second press. Okay. Right here is your A sub paper. That's your second press. That's your A sub paper. Second press. This is your TBS. All we got was the black off of that. That's your second press of A-Sub. All that ink should have been on your first That would have made press. your shirt more vibrant. <laughs> this is our TBS paper. We just got black off of that one. But this one, we got colors. That should have been on your initial print. So I'm telling you, it's a lot of, it's a lot of crafters out there that's going cheap, and you're cheating your customers. I don't want to talk about you. I just want to educate you a little bit. If you can give your customer a better quality of sub sublimation blanks, if you can give them a better quality, Sarah said that's so clean. Yeah, that is. It's clean. If you can give your customers a better quality, wouldn't you want to do that? See, we worry about losing our customers due to raising our prices. But if we're investing in our business and we're giving them good quality products, our customers won't have a problem if we have to raise our prices due to inflation. Talked about that this morning. I don't want to get all into that, but I just wanted to compare our paper to the number one paper in North America, number one sublimation paper in North America. Why do I keep saying that? <clears throat> because if you go on the website, that's what it says. Yeah, I'm gonna share something with y'all that I didn't know until today. So y'all don't need to see my big face, but I'm going to flip my camera, okay? And you may be able to see this, they get a little bigger. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here. See that? It says the number one brand. And I'm gonna go ahead and share this so you can see it on YouTube as well. Now, I may be getting kind of close to ticking somebody off. I don't know. Probably nobody watching my stuff, so I don't know. But you see that? North America's number one sublimation paper brand. That's what it says. But y'all just saw what our paper did. Our little old paper from our little old company, from our little old vendors, from our little old town. I, I can almost guarantee you that we are shopping in the same places. I can almost guarantee you that we're shopping in the same places. I can, I can almost guarantee you that they're getting their paper from the same place that we're getting our paper. Yeah, say that again. It ain't the best, though. You can see the difference. So if you can see the difference, why would you want to pass off a mediocre product to your customers? So I wish we were in the position to offer an affiliate program for our paper. Maybe, maybe someday we'll be able to do that. I wish we were in a position to give out free paper so people can use our paper. We give it out every month so you can actually promote our paper. But we're not in a position to do that because we're a smaller business, right? And if we do that right now, we're going to be going out of business real soon. But these huge conglomerates can offer you options like that. They can say, hey, you know what? We got an affiliate program and we're going to be offering you an opportunity to either sell our product and get a percentage or we're going to offer you 
to use our paper for free and tell all your friends. Well, if somebody's going to be using ASUS paper and they're going to be telling all their friends about the paper, I don't know what they're going to be telling them. But if they, if they, if they ain't telling them what y'all just saw, they're lying. They're lying. Let me see. I'm definitely ordering the kit soon. Okay. Hey, we appreciate your support. You're doing business with us. I'm new to the craft the world, and I just got a 12 by 12 heat press yesterday. Well, congratulations. And what I want you to do is consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. On our YouTube channel, you're going to see, hey, hey, what's going on? Honestly, speaking is on. Uh, I, I want you to consider subscribing to our YouTube channel because they have YouTube for beginners, and it'll kind of give you some good guidance. On what you what you can actually uh okay. see and sub and give some give some uh some heads up so i'm not gonna stay on here it's friday i really ain't got a lot to do um uh, i'm just yeah, making videos good. and creating content mm -hmm. i think that was a great comparison let me go ahead and stop this share what i was doing was if you guys are just jumping on i wasn't throwing any salt into anybody's game i wasn't uh trying to belittle anybody's company all i did was went on the website I did some research and I noticed that I found a company that said that they were the number one sublimation brand in North America. So I just wanted to compare our paper to their paper. That's all, you know, and that it didn't compare it to ours. No, there's other people out there. There's other companies out there who have great paper with great ink releases. That's going to still do better than that ASUP paper. I'm not saying not to, shop with a sub i'm just saying that a sub ain't the best bam i can say that because i just showed you that i just showed you that so that being said what i want to do is i want to invite you to subscribe to our youtube channel uh like our TikTok, like our uh like our facebook group and also hit us up on instagram um i'm going to be doing some more comparisons to some more products out there. Hey, listen, I ain't mad at big business. They big for a reason. But guess what? We're big business too. We just ain't made it yet. So you got to understand, don't think small. Think big. You go out there, you research, and you get a product that's better than what they're marketing out there. You get a product and you provide a service to your customers that's better than what big business is marketing out there. And I promise you guys, we can revert those community type people back to our smaller but big businesses that's all i got this is eric thanks for joining from the blank spot y'all saw d pop in make sure you like share subscribe make sure you hit that bell to hit the notifications we'll be on here probably uh probably later on this evening yeah we got one more drawing right yeah we're doing a drawing our last drawing for the week our last drawing for the week for 25 dollars gifts card for the uh to the blank spot all you have to do is real simple Man, you know, it'd be surprised people can't follow instruction. You know that? Anyway, it's real simple. All you got to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel. And then whatever platform you see this on, say I'm done and then send us your email address. It could be on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. We don't care. I'm checking all the platforms. That has to be done before 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Once you do that, your name is your email address is going to be entered into a free drawing for a free one free $25 gift card. We've given out five or four this week already. OK, we're going to give out number five today. And that's going to be it till we figure out something else we can do to help put some money back in y'all's pockets and keep y'all keep y'all's business going. OK, how fast do I ship? I ship as fast as the post office or take it out of the house. We are. Uh, <laughs> so check this out. Our shipping policy is on our website, okay? I want you to refer to the shipping policy, okay? However, however, we do our best that if it comes in before 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we do our best to get it out the same day. But I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, we ain't sitting on your stuff. If you've bought it, we want it out of the store. So we're going to ship that thing as, as, as fast as humanly possible, usually within the same day before 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or the very next business day, okay? We even shipping on Saturdays. We're shipping on Saturday. So we know it's important for you to get your get your items and we want you to get it as well. So um, but once it gets into the post office's hands, it's out of our hands. We do ship priority. Um, that's the lowest. That's the lowest uh, lowest rate. Is that am I saying that correct? Mm -hmm. The lowest rate is priority. 
and we learned that from you, Shakir. So uh, appreciate, <laughs> yeah, appreciate that. We learned that from you. Um, we only we only ship priority and higher because we want to protect you and us. Okay, want to protect you and us. She said, "LOL, I work in retail logistics, so I know some of our warehouses be slow." Now nah, I'm in charge of shipping and receiving, so I might mess your order up every now and again. But I'm, I'm messing with y'all. I'm messing with y'all. Um, I do I do mess up because I'm human, but we get them out fast. We get them out fast. We don't want your stuff in our in our warehouse no faster. Um, we don't want your stuff in our, in, our, in our warehouse no longer than it has to be. Um, let me see. You're doing right because I compared our returns six to eight. Brands. Yep. You, you did you did six to eight brands. Well, you know what? We about to go buy some paper, Shakir. We about to go buy some paper. We about to do some comparisons. About to do some comparisons. And um, we just did 365 on ours as well. So I'm going to try to go uh, with a lower time. We did 60 seconds. I, I did a, what did Zeke do the other day? 45 or he stayed up? You told me 40, 45, I think. I'm going to try to do 30 seconds and see how it works out as well. But, uh, yeah, we, we're trying. We want to try everything that we can to show people, like D said before, it, it cuts down on the heat. It cuts down on the heat. It cuts down on the, the usage of your equipment. Um, you can you can do a, your turnovers faster. You know what I'm saying? Imagine you pressing – at 365, less heat, less less uh, less uh, uh, time. On, less time, and you turn over the products faster. Imagine that. You just save some time. You save 30 seconds. Think about it. That's a lot. So anyway, um, that's all I got. Thanks. I appreciate it. Uh, like, share, comment, tag. Once again, we're located at 224 O'Neill Court, Suite 26 and 27, Columbia, South Carolina, 29223. My name is Eric, signing out from the blank spot. Like I always say, guys, when you know better, that's when you have the ability to do better. And the only knowledge that's powerful is popular applied knowledge. You guys take care. Peace. Y'all like down. <laughs>